together as one unified loving festival. What is love? This is Pepper sharing some interesting stuff, at least to us, about how we even got here. But if you want to hear how we got here, we'd love to share it with you. Thank you so much for watching. This is Pepper at Red Rocks. All right. What's up, everyone? My name is Kaleo Wassman. I play in the band Pepper. What Red Rocks means to me as an artist is a really cool, simple situation. Being able to experience nature while having a full-blown concert go on. And they mix in perfect harmony in synergy and unity. That's what makes this place so incredible. It's like you have like this, this production, you've got these lights, you've got all these things that are foreign, yet still are completely complementary with the nature that uh, is all around it. Aloha, my name is Usad Williams. I play drums in the band Pepper. Everyone calls me Yi, Y to the double E. All right. So the first time we ever played here, I don't think I knew what I was in for. I like, I think I knew I'd heard uh, ramblings, obviously, of just like how beautiful the place is, how legendary, but I hadn't really like clicked it into my mind that like, oh, it's where you uh, two filmed the uh, legendary Sunday, Bloody Sunday video and like all these like legendary stories and everything. And um, so I don't think I was really uh, prepared for what I was in for. Um, and then to get to the venue, see the wall of all those bands, all that magic that's happened here and the way they have all the plaques up where you can just literally like go down and be like, oh my God, Led Zeppelin. Oh my God, J Jimi Hendrix. Oh, like L Motley Crue, like all, all the, the most legendary bands and, and uh, uh, to be able to go through and see all that. And then to be able to step on that stage where it's so unique where like Cleo was saying it earlier, it's such a steep stage where you're like, the, the band's like this sunken down entity but the feeling is amazing because 10,000 people are literally like stacked on top of you when you're on stage. The feelings I think were, like I said, it was with OAR that we were on that tour, that summer tour, and it was the first like amphitheaters we'd ever played in our like whole entire career. So um, just the whole summer was uh, um, a bit of like dreams kind of coming true. We were so young at that point. Uh, it was our first like like I said run around like an amphitheater tour and everything so it was like just left and right it was like 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 my dreams were coming true and I was like this is like crazy and then this was the cherry on top of that that whole year because that was 2005 when I think that was when give it up first hit the radio and that was when we were like in denial like nah there's no way like because yeah, it was our first like wave of like any sort of success or anything and it was that like no way three guys from like Kona like us could actually like nah that's not really happening and then to go on a tour and then cap it off with something like this was like um as the Don Wesley would put it we felt like if we ever have in our life we felt kind of bona fide at that point <laughs> slightly stupid taught us early on two things you have to do pepper Take this tuning pedal <laughs> and tune your guitar so you don't sound absolutely crazy, <laughs> which you are. And number two, make every night amazing. That's a, they're a big part of that, which is incredible. They still push us to like, have more fun than you've ever had. And that's part of the reason why peppers are incredible and uh, why we trust them with everything in music more than anyone else. Why do people come to Red Rocks? People come from everywhere to be here, which is incredible. My family actually drove, my sister's family drove 2,000 miles to be here just because they're like, I've always heard about Red Rocks. I've seen you guys in California. I've, seen, I've never seen you in Red Rocks. Red Rocks, ah, yeah, cool. It's a backdrop for people who are excited about music and, and meeting all the other people that really love music. Knowing that this band has been around since 1997, it doesn't necessarily feel like that. 
Uh, but yeah, Kona Town, 20 years. And, and uh, I'm, I'm still so happy when we were able to play tracks off of Kona Town at venues like this, Red Rock. And you get like a whole crowd singing and like lyric for, I mean. There hasn't been like one concert that we haven't played Stone Love where every single person in the audience is singing at the top of their lungs louder than you. I, I, don't, I don't ever hear myself singing that song anymore <laughs> just because everyone sings it so much better than we do anyway. <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoy this little red rock behind the scenes, behind the scenes documentary. And uh, I really, really hope that this inspires you to get tickets to the next Red Rock shows that we're playing. <laughs>